Okay guys, we got another pressure washer here. It's a Troy built, 2550, 2.3 gallons max. But here's the issue. Can you see that? The rope does not retract back into its little home. So we're gonna pull this cover off of here and check it out. I gotta do something about the lighting because I'm trying to be in the shade, but at the same time, uh, I even have a light on there. Uh, it's just kind of kind of hard to film outside, but <clears throat> let's get you set up here and let's see if we can find out what's going on with that. Okay, guys. So looks like looks like someone's had that one off. So let's go ahead and take it out now. I don't know if he tried to look at it. We got one here we're going to take out. And um, this this cover piece here should come off. Again, sorry about the lighting. It's just so hard to... You know, I'm trying to stay in the shade. Yesterday, real feel was 107. So, and trust me, it really felt like it. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna just pull this up through there. Now, looks like okay, we're gonna take the take the gas tank off. But if we have to take this off, the top part here, we could be in trouble because they are riveted in there. I hate that. I have drilled the rivets out before and put little bolts in, but Hopefully we won't have to do that. Hopefully we can take this off and get some lubrication up in there and go from there. So let me get, looks like a 5 16 Okay guys, so I got the 5 16 here. Uh-oh. Got it. Yeah, that one's a little rusty like me <laughs> okay let's take these out of here i got one more on the bottom it looks like 7 16 i'm gonna have to get a wrench for it okay so it happens to be a 3 8 and it is cooking out here it's noon front door just opened up on the house by itself I got it on video. Monkey sitting in there in the living room. I was right here in the garage. And it came open. So. I'm not sure why it did that. It's never done that before. No one opened any doors or anything like that. So. The wind's not blowing, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. And it's got this little spacer down underneath it. Okay, now we're gonna pop this off of here. All right. Let me, let me get my attachments for my impact driver. There's four on here. I hope I hope it's just, you know, lack of lubrication or something because I don't have parts that'll fit this. There's four of these bolts. They're three-eighths as well. Two on the back here, two on the front. And also I gotta get, while I'm thinking about this, Let's go ahead, take that screw out for the uh, dipstick too. You dipstick. There's that one. 
Okay. Now, two on the front. All right, now, let's take this off. I think the spring's broke. So, that's not good, depending on where it's broke. If it's broke at the end, might be able to fix it, but, Huh. Let's let's take this out. It shouldn't pop out on me. These are called dogs. They come out when you pull the rope. Centrifugal force pulls them out. And they lock into that cup there, and then as you let go, it flips them back in. So, go ahead and take these out. And the spring's broke. I may be able to weld this. I don't know if you can see this. Right there. That's part of the spring. Here's the other end. Um, I have welded them before. And I think that's what I'm going to try to do with this one, but I got to take it out. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to, as well lubricated, we'll have to keep the spring from popping out on me. So, um, maybe put a zip tie in it or something. I'll probably just go ahead and take it all out because it needs a good cleaning before I try to weld that. So, but that's where it is. I have spent time in Benham before. But that's that's way too much effort. Trust me. Okay, guys, there's what I got set up. I made me a little jig. I got them tightened down. So I'm going to put my clamp on here. And I'm going to try to tack that. I don't know if I can get both sides. But the weld should be strong enough to hold that right there. We'll see. I'm not going to show you welding that. Because it's just going to be a tack. Zip, zip. Okay, so I got it tacked on there. So what I'm going to have to do is I've got to put this in here, whichever way it goes. I think it goes like this. And then I just got to keep twisting this around until I get it inside of here. So all I want to do is just keep twisting and twisting and twisting. Probably get a needle nose, a pair of needle nose pliers and do that's what I usually do it with. So hang tight guys and I'll be back with you. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Now we're gonna put our dogs back in here. Just like this. Just like that. I had of course take the take the pull rope out of it. Looking like it could it's about due for another pull rope. Before you get this on there and tighten it down, make sure there's little channels in there that you got to get those little dowels into, and uh, that helps slide them back in. I didn't put any more grease in there or lube or anything because it looked like it had plenty. All right, now let's see here. I'm going to pull the rope out this way, and I've got to, got to get this spun around here. Then we'll put the rope back in it, which is not that hard to do. Okay, that's all the way, so I'm going to line my hole up with the hole on the on the shroud and let's see here my screwdriver 
just gonna stick this in here just to hold it now now a rope I got to get my lighter I'm gonna melt this end a little bit okay so did you say I almost grabbed that screwdriver and pulled it out of there what are you doing in there and then that'll just go Oops. And just got to get it right. Hope if I can see something, but a lot of times you can cut off both ends and just shove it through this way. Come on. There we go. There it is. Now we're just going to tie a little tiny knot in this thing here. Just like that. A little knot. Put it in there, give it a tug. Pull that out. Now let's see if it'll bring itself back in. It does. I should probably go one more round with it. I think that's what I'm going to do. But I can do that without taking the rope out. By pulling that rope up in here, there's plenty of room. And then just going around the rope. There we go. Now, I'll put this thing back on. Just reverse, just uh, just those four bolts and well, let's see, four, five bolts and those two screws on top. So, yeah, I'll speed you up through this. We got it. I'm not gonna start it up. I'm not hooking the water up and all that just to start it, but I will. Well, it almost started there. I better be careful. All right. There's that one. It's fixed. We have that thing over there. It just needs the cable for you know the safety bar thing and uh we'll do that one so i got another pressure washer video coming up but it's gonna be cool all right guys there you go thanks for watching um hopefully that weld will hold it should i seen a guy cousin kev you've heard me talk about him before he actually jb welded one together and i i told him it wasn't gonna work it's working look it's working on an old tiller old rototiller for his garden three days later or three years later he was using it and finally it started having a rod knock but that thing lasted three years and i i don't know how he got it to hold but uh he used it once a year but still i mean you know the thought of it I didn't think it would hold I mean you know just pulling on it but it did so all right guys uh, I'll suggest that he gets another one that's up to him if he wants to I'll put it on for him if not well you know 
if and when it does break again you know then he'll have to get one but i'll recommend it to him see what he says thanks for watching guys shea bear the myth the man of legend gone for now we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys and take care heat's playing havoc on our batteries man it's just too hot I had to put that on the charger